In the healthcare space, deal news and IPO announcements taking center stage. What are some of the big pharma deals? Hi, Jane. Global markets and the jobs report may be taking center stage on Wall Street, but in the Bay Area, all eyes are on downtown San Francisco. Next week, healthcare and biotech conferences are in the spotlight. The 34th JP Morgan Healthcare Conference and the 8th Biotech Showcase are taking place. Now, reps from the pharma giants will attend with plenty of deals and partnership expected to take place. And ahead of the big conference week, Big Pharma stepped in. NextCure raised $67 million from investors. Now, a team of executives from Amplimu is teaming teaming up with Yale oncologist Li Ping Chen to found the startup. It hopes to develop immune therapy treatments. Amplimune is a biotech company acquired by Metamune in 2013 for $500 million. Canem partners Lily Asia Ventures, Orbimed Advisors, Pfizer, Pfizer participated in this round. Now moving on to C4 Therapeutics, the company launched from Dana-Farber Cancer Institute with a $73 million Series A financing round. It is developing treatments in the field of targeted protein degradation. C4 plans to develop drugs and proprietary and partner development programs. Separately, Pfizer led a $15 million round for South San Francisco-based Cortexime. Dolby Family Ventures, Takeda, and several private investors also participated. Now, this company is working on new therapies for Alzheimer's as well as neurodegenerative diseases. Moving on to Gardent Health, it completed a $100 million Series D investment round. Orbit Med led the round with existing investors, which include Costal Ventures, Sequoia Capital, Lightspeed Venture Partners, and others. The company also creates non-invasive cancer genomic sequencing and has already raised nearly $100 million to date prior to this round. Last but not least, San Francisco-based Elector attracted Amgen and Appy for its $29.5 million round led by the Dementia Discovery fund. This comes just months after its $32 million Series D. Elector is working on antibodies that can boost an immune response to neurodegenerative diseases, and it does have a focus on Alzheimer's. Now Merck Research Lab Ventures, Orbimed, Polaris Partners, GV, and Mission Bay Capital participated in this flash round. We're also seeing double-digit percentage gains for several small caps in healthcare today. What's behind the soaring prices? Well, when we see these types of moves, we know that a company shifting action is behind the surge. At the end of the week, Sandra tacked on over 10%. Shares of the company that makes silicone breast implants got a boost. Now, this came as its chairman and CEO, Jeff Nugent, wrote a letter to doctors announcing Sandra's submission of third-party testing data of its products. Back in October of last year, it put a voluntary hold on sales after quality issues with Silamed, its supplier in Brazil. Regulators shut down the supplier in the autumn of 2015. Now, the letter from the CEO says results show implants are safe and pose no risks to patients. Separately, X Biotech shares soared on Friday. With that boost, its market cap hovers above $300 million. Now, the developer of True Human Therapeutic Antibodies says it completed its analysis for its Phase 3 study of Xilinx. That is, its treatment for advanced symptomatic colorectal cancer. Results showed improvement in antibody activity in patients treated with Xilinx. Now, the Texas Biopharma will proceed with regulatory submissions. And before we peel ourselves away from the healthcare space, are we about to see one of the largest mergers in the industry next week? According to sources, Shar is prepping for a major announcement as early as next week. Shar may be buying Bexelta for about $32.5 billion. The cash and stock deal would value Bexelta at $48 per share. Meanwhile, both parties are confident tax concerns regarding Baxelta's spin-out from Baxter won't be an impediment to the transaction. Shire has been eyeing Baxelta since July of last year. It proposed an all-stock deal for just over $45 per share that was rejected by Baxelta's board. This acquisition would mark the end of a very long pursuit.